Now, breaking news out of Canberra this afternoon, Independent MP Andrew Wilkie has accused Hillsong of financial fraud after tabling thousands of documents detailing the church's financial records. Wilkie says, and he said this in Parliament under parliamentary privilege, he says that Hillsong used private jets like Ubers and hid $80 million a year from the ATO. Listen to what else he had to say. But these documents, these documents show how that money is actually used to do the kind of shopping that would embarrass a Kardashian. I verify that these documents are genuine. Show how that money is actually used to do the kind of shopping that would embarrass a Kardashian. All right, I just had to share this with you guys, an MP accusing Hillsong of tax fraud. Yes, I believe if Jesus was to step into the Hillsong church, he would have turned their tables long ago. But sure, take a look. Someone shared this with me. I'll share the article as well as, yeah, it's embarrassing that they're doing more shopping than the Kardashians, honestly. Spending thousands during a pandemic. You can read the article, watch the very short clip, but the full video clip uh, I have in Facebook, I'll share it with you guys. $150,000 of church money on luxury retreat in Cancun during the pandemic. Just mind just want to share that and it doesn't stop there he goes accusing the new pastor as well Phil Dooley oh yes the pastor wearing a hat inside a church how despicable and how just utterly disrespectful that is I mean I'm just saying but I've looked at Hillsong so many times I just want to keep this short I've looked at them in concert uh, compared their CDs when I first woke up I used to go to Hillsong conferences believe it or not I was fully on board with Hillsong I love the social club but then I realized who they're aligned with yeah and you can look at those videos and more but you can even just look at his their pictures that they share a door to miracles yeah I know what kind of door that is leading to and he's surrounding himself recently this is a recent picture with other pastors that we all know I would not trust we cannot trust them they have their cubes they're open to LGBT and they even have a slide going into a baptism pool seriously I mean what has church has come to but please look for yourself please look at more recent things as well as if you are not convinced you need to understand who they are I've looked at them at Esther Houston and how she was connected to um, her co-owner of Miss Who and Grafe was her name I'll share the video it's an older video you can clearly see that I was new at what I was doing but I wanted to share I could not hold it in and even though I was told by a pastor's wife oh you shouldn't talk against a pastor or the church I, I couldn't hold it in I could clearly see that these people are leading everyone to the wide path in everything that they were doing as well as all the other pastors out there that I've looked at look don't trust anyone especially during the pandemic it was more and more clear where they put their trust in and if you weren't looking then you really need to look now that's all I can say because I don't trust anyone it, don't, it clearly says be wise as serpents and innocent as doves and why is that because there are many false prophets they we were warned many times over again in the Bible all right God bless you guys take care of just sharing some facts have a great day till next time all the head the new head of Hillsong, Phil Dooley, has told church followers he only flies economy. But these documents show him clocking up $58,000 in business class flights for him and his daughter to Guatemala, plus up to $30,000 to board members, some of whom allegedly helped cover up the sexual abuse carried out by Frank Houston, Brian Houston's father.